Mars is a cold, radioactive desert where the ground is poisonous and breathing is impossible. No one would want to live there, so building a Mars base is actually a pretty horrible idea, but to hell with it, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to terraform the planet and turn it into an outpost for a larger human presence. Welcome to Astroneer, guys. This is the final alpha build. We're getting into release in a few days, and I thought I would revisit the project. Let's get out here and whoa! Pop-up camp! <laughs> it's like one of those dome tents, except much more fancy. All right. And it has hydraulics, apparently. Awesome. We're astronaut gangsters, then. Dr. Dre already said something about an astronaut, because he gets a lot of ass to call him an astronaut or something. Okay, so let's, let's check out the landing pad here. We get to initialize the cargo drop for a startup package. All right. Boom. We got it. Okay. Starting platform. Pick up. Okay. Where do we want to put this? I suppose just... Like right on the opposite side would be cool. Let's let's put it like right here. And hold E to unpack. Bam! Let's plug it in, plug it in. Uh-huh. And now let's take our second piece here. This is a medium printer. It's a Hewlett Packard. Boom! Okay, so if we examine this, it says that we can make large platforms or a research chamber. And that's what we want. Resin and compound are required to do it, so we need to take out our Hoover vacuum cleaner that we can suck things up. It's actually called a terrain tool, but it's much more fun to say suck things up and vacuum suck things up, so it's it's a Hoover, okay? What is this over here? Already get I can't breathe, so I can't get too far. You see that little oxygen meter on the back there? Yep, that right there. It means that um, we only have limited amounts of oxygen, so what is this right here? Debris. I know it's just debris. It's not Debris. All right, we can plug this thing in. It looks like it has a power deal on it, but uh, this is not what we want. So let's uh, let's go back and get some oxygen here. Ah, the breath of life. Okay, so that way wasn't anything, but I think I see some materials over here. So we can get organic from this stuff right here, just sucking up the plants, but this is the good stuff right here. Compound! So, this stuff allows us to make all sorts of things. Between compound and resin, we can do a lot with it. But, let's grab this compound and I'll show you the first thing that we need to do with this. And it is gonna be to make oxygen tethers. So, instead of having to run back to the ship every single time, you can go into the backpack here and you can 3D print tethers. You can cycle through all of the things that you have available, like canisters and oxygen filters. Let's go ahead and open up the tether bundle. And now that we have a tether bundle, we can get a little bit farther away from the base and hit T and bam, we can tether. So we can just travel all over the place now. As long as we have compound to make tethers, we are good to go. So we're looking for resin now. And resin is this stuff that almost looks like sponge at the bottom of the sea. Not that these plants don't look like sponge, but it looks like there's resin right here. When you get close enough to a node, it shows you. So let's suck it up. I told you it looks like sponge. Look at this stuff. Anyway, let's get some of it. Oh yeah, baby. And it's getting dark out, but we have a headlight, so it shouldn't be that bad. And now, with our newfound resin, we can go back to the ship, or the pop-up tent, and we can select what's needed for it. So let's go ahead and equip these suckers out, and we can hold to examine, or we can just press E to print. Print it, baby! Look at this puppy go. I always wanted a 3D printer. These things kick butt, man. They just make anything that you wish and turn it into reality it's crazy anyway we're gonna need a large platform to set this research center down as well so as soon as this is finished we'll do that but we're gonna need a little bit more materials for it so we may as well do that while we're waiting all right so we've got our research canister ready to go but we still gonna need a large platform let's go ahead and hold this sucker down change it to large platform Select start and it's gonna print this sucker out for us. Perfect. We're all set up. We have the large platform. Let's go ahead and unpack this puppy 
And the large platform is out. Let's go ahead and set this on top of it. Plug this sucker in right here and unpack. Bam! And we have the research center. Now with this, we can take all kind of tidbits, put it in here and learn new stuff for our printer. So now it's time to explore. Let's head over to this mountain area and see what's down here. It looks like I'm going to need a few more tethers. No problem. It only takes a couple minutes to craft. And we're getting closer to the mountain range here. Sometimes there could be some really cool caves where you could find stuff. But you got to be careful because it can get pretty steep at some areas. And you do want to be able to get what you came for and bring it back. All right, it looks like we have something different here. Macolite, copper, huh? Let's just suck it up. Hoover, ooh, you heard that sound? That means we did something good, I think. Also, what in the world are these things? Is it poisonous gas? I mean, oh my God, it hurts, I think. What is all this gas? It's coming after me, whatever it is. I don't know if it hurts, though. I don't really have a life meter. All right, let's continue to harvest. It's these things right here. Oh, my God. I knew this was a bad idea. And we're in space again. Well, that didn't turn out too hot. We just sent another astronaut out. That's the great thing about being in the government. You can tell people to just go to their death and keep exploring for the good of mankind. Let's go try to find our stuff, huh? All right, there's our stuff. Dig it up a little bit and bring it to... Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, boo. It's all still here. Get this Macolite. Uh-oh, the gas is trying to get me again. Back! Back, you beast! There's some other stuff in there I want, too, though. Um... All right, I have an idea. First of all, the hell is this blue rock? Smurf rocks or whatever? I want all this Macalite. All right, this right here. What the heck? What the heck? Oh my god, it's an alien artifact. It's spongy and oh. It reminds... Is it a flurb? Maybe it's a flurb. This looks like something you get out of those 25 cent machines back in the day. Maybe it's a stress ball. Maybe you just like... Some sort of massage toy or some not that kind of massage toy, you weirdo. Seriously, it's, it's one of those little um, stress relief things uh, where it has the little rubber quills or whatever. Squinky or I don't know. At any rate, we got it. It's time to research it. All right, so let's just stick this thing in the thing. And then we just press Q on the thing. 1280 bytes unknown. Press button to begin research. Sample will be destroyed, but it's gonna give us bites. So what can we use bites for? Okay, so the blue things are what we have unlocked already, and the pink items are what we don't have unlocked that we can use bites for. Small oxygen tanks, solar power, generators, more platforms and soil centrifuges, and oh, and a vehicle bay, which kind of opens up things like buggies and rovers. Holy crap. But it's going to take another 10 minutes. Holy cow. We're going to have to do some more exploring for this. Right, I think I finally got rid of all the gas making things, the little fart bubbles. Now, what the heck do we do with this? Is this anything that we can... I don't guess. I don't guess it's anything. It's just weird. All right, what is this stuff over here, though? Hold on. Hold on. I need a tether. I need a tether, babe. Also, this some little... Nope, it's just rocks in the rocks. Okay. What is all this? So... Quartz. Yeah, we'll take it. So it looks like there's some junk down there that I'd like to get to, but I don't know how to get to it. It looks as though I can probably make my way down, but I don't have the right tools to do anything more with the land or like get or like add land to make like ramps and hills and stuff. I don't think I can get down here in any safe manner here. Let's see if I could just dig and see what happens like down here. No, nope. nope, none of that. It just kind of goes to, well, maybe I can get a little bit further down. How about, yeah, all right. Now we're looking good. Okay. 
And can we get further down here? Can I grab this stuff from here? Oh, yeah! Give it to me, babe. I don't know what you are, but I want you... Laterite? The hell? Um, let's grab the rest and get the hell out of here. And there's something else right here. Oh, it's more guys! To hell with it! Deceased, guys! Little fart bags. Oh, more compound. Yeah, for more tethers. What the hell is this? Oh, it's another stress ball. Yeah, I'm taking it. All right, let's see. We can set this other stress ball in here. Uh-huh. And start 24 minutes, but 2,596 bytes. Holy crap, that's pretty good, man. And our other platform is ready. Let's go ahead and set this puppy down. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to set you down? Maybe right here. Okay. Looks like a great spot. Unpack. Uh-huh. And now we can put all of our junk that we've been collecting on this thing. Look at all the stuff we could get. Smelting furnace. Don't mind if I do. Research that. Trade platform. 2,000. Holy crap. Soil centrifuge. No idea what this does. It takes compound and aluminum or aluminium, which I haven't found yet. Large platforms. Okay, 500. Generators seem like they would be good, but I don't have a whole lot of generator stuff. How about unlocking a small solar? A small wind turbine? I like that. All right. Using our bites wisely. So now we can make a smelting furnace, and all we need is a couple of resin for that. Let me go ahead and grab my resin. Uh-oh. Backpack is full. Oh, we can put some of this stuff on here, too. Quartz. All right. Good. So much stuff, man. Research samples. I gotta make sure I use all of these too. Resin. All right. Beautiful. Smelting furnace. Printing it up, baby. All righty. Smelting furnace is done. We just need to move all of this junk off of our storage platform, which isn't nearly adequate enough for all the junk that we picked up. Let's put this on. Unpack it. Ooh, baby. Now we can smelt stuff. Is that how this works? All right, let's see. Can we smelt quartz? Yes. Smeltable. And is it smelting? I don't know. Oh, it's working now. Smelt it, baby. Look at it go. Oh, yeah. Smelting it up to get some new stuff. I'm gonna research you and get some more fluff. Dang, this thing still got 45 minutes to go. This was like the most complex alien artifact ever. So let's use some resin to make a canister and see if we can maybe put some dirt in it. Mm-hmm. Canister, all right? So let's see what happens when we just start grabbing dirt again. Is it filling up the canister? Well, it's definitely not burning it anymore. Oh, yeah, look, man. We get in the soil, babe. So can we add now? Uh-oh. What is that noise? Uh-oh, bad weather. Either that's a swarm of locust or it's a very bad sandstorm. Oh, yeah. Things are getting bad. Hold on, let's put everything up. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, it's bad. Let's let's go inside. Huh? Let's go inside. Oh wait, no! Hold on! All of our stuff! All of our stuff is gonna blow away, maybe. We gotta put it all back inside. Um wait! Put it right here. Uh-huh. Right here. No? Dang it! I can't put everything up. Let's just put it right here for now, then. I knew this was a bad idea. Who wants to live in Mars, anyway? Ah! Ah, safe. In our little habitat. This place is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. 